ChatGPT now serves over 400 million users every week, but only a small fraction pay the $20 for ChatGPT Plus. But is ChatGPT Plus worth the $20 a month? In this video, I'm going to go through the five main benefits of ChatGPT Plus and the three main limitations of the free tier. So OpenAI originally launched ChatGPT Plus in 2023 to guarantee users access during blackout periods. It has added a lot of features, but a lot of those have been passed on to the free tier, like browsing, creating images and files. So let's go through the five main benefits of what you get with ChatGPT+. Number one is their deep research agent. This is basically one-click multi-web research with citations in five to 30 minutes. Deep research is a specialized AI capability designed to perform in-depth multi-step research using data on the public web. This enables it to create thorough, documented and clearly cited reports on complex topics. The second benefit is advanced voice mode. So this is the interruptible emotive voice mode and it also allows you to screen share. The free version only get a tiny daily preview. Advanced voice mode uses natively multimodal models such as GPT-40, which means that it directly hears and generates audio. Hey there, that sounds awesome. Providing for more natural real-time conversations that pick up on non-verbal cues, such as the speed you're talking and can respond with emotion. When I say multimodal, it basically means it can interpret video, images, and audio. Third benefit is higher caps and priority uptime. On the free version, you get access to a lot of these tools, but it's quite limited. If you use these functions more often, these higher limits are really important and really helpful for you to have. The fourth benefit is richer multimodal tools. So we're talking about image generation, video generation, and things like that. So for example, you can generate five images an hour, Versus on the free plan, you only get about three images per day. You can also produce limited Sora clips, which is a video generation tool from ChatGPT. The fifth benefit is that you get early access to a lot of these new features that ChatGPT rolls out. This often changes, and at the time of recording, we're looking at the O3 model. I'm sure by the time you watch this, it may have changed, there may be new features, but the most important thing now is that with ChatGPT Plus, you get access to all these new features before the free version. So I touched upon some of these, but what are the three main limitations of the free tier? The first one is limits on caps of what you can do. So for certain models or features, you only have a certain amount of times that you can use them. These are usually daily limits, so they might reset the next day, but still it can be limiting if you have to do something big. It may be fine for homework help, but maybe it's not as good for heavy research. The second limitation is low multimodal allowances. If you just want to test out voice mode or create an image as a joke, then it's fine. But as an example, if you're someone who much prefers talking to ChatGPT, or if you need to create a lot of images in a day, then you're quite limited on the free tier. The third limitation is that there may be other free tools that are more suited for your use case. So that's to say ChatGPT free might not be perfect for the use case that you have. Maybe Plus has the feature or allowance that you need, but it's worth checking out other competitive free options that you can use instead. So how do you decide whether you should upgrade to ChatGPT Plus or not? You should go Plus if this sounds like you. You use ChatGPT for daily coding, data analysis, or content creation. You need uninterrupted access and an 80 message cap. You need it for heavy image or video generation or deep research. But if this sounds like you, you should probably stay free. You might prompt it less than 10 times a day for quick summaries, emails, or homework. You use it for occasional images, but you're also happy to wait or retry if you're at capacity in your limits. Or you already use alternative tools for some of your bigger tasks. In conclusion, it's definitely worth trying out the free version first to assess whether you need to upgrade to Plus. Most people start here in the free version. If you keep going over your capacity, then it's probably worth considering upgrading to Plus. Depending on your use case, it might end up paying for itself. If you don't reach those caps, hang on to that $20. What do you think? Are you going to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus? Please like and subscribe if this video helped you save money or else helped you make a decision. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.